My name is Paige Solari and I will be going over the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics of scuba diving. According to Boyle's law, there is an indirect relationship between pressure and volume. At surface level or zero feet, you are under one atmosphere of pressure. After descending to 33 feet, the pressure increases to two atmosphere or two bars, and air volume will decrease by one half. This is due to a smaller volume and more compact air molecules. That is why it is an appeal to Boyle's law. For example, if a diver is at 33 feet below the surface, they will use twice as much air. At 66 feet, three times as much air, and so on. Divers use math to identify air consumption rates to give as much dive time as possible. It takes engineering to deliver breathable air from a cylinder at 3,000 psi. This is done through a regulator, which consists of a first stage that attaches to the cylinder, decreasing the pressure to an intermediate level. The second stage then decreases it to the ambient pressure, allowing for normal breathing at any depth. The second stage of the regulator is what you normally see in the diver's mouth, allowing them to breathe. It's engineered to release air in an open position, allowing the diver to ascend if failure occurs. You can also use the purge button of the apparatus to purge the mechanism and expel water. Scientifically, there are two common injuries related to diving, expansion injuries and decompression sickness, also known as the bends. When you ascend, pressure decreases and volume in any closed air pockets will increase. If a diver holds their breath, the body has no way to release the expanding air, overextending the lungs and causing serious injury. Decompression sickness, or the bends, occurs when a diver surfaces too quickly. When breathing under pressure, solubility of gas will increase, as said by Henry's law. The nitrogen dissolves into the bloodstream and tissues much faster. If you ascend too quickly, much like opening a soda after shaking it, the release of said pressure will cause the nitrogen to come out of solution and bubble in the bloodstream. This can cause severe joint pain, possible damage to blood vessels and blood flow, all that. Treatment is usually with high percentage oxygen or a hyperbaric chamber. Certain pieces of technology can aid in the prevention of those injuries. Dive computers are watch-like devices that divers wear on their wrists. Dive computers tell depth, time of dive, safety stop times, record previous dive information, and technology has even come so far as to have the dive computer sink to the cylinder, relaying the remaining PSI and working as a submersible pressure gauge. Pretty cool. The applications of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are extensive in scuba diving. So as you're looking at all the pretty fish, you're also applying everything you've learned in your STEM classes. And if a kid in your class ever says, when will we ever use this? They've probably never been 60 feet underwater.